going to do it. I've got to. Look, it's a setup. Don't worry about me, Robert. Be concerned for Gray. I am. I'm worried what you're going to do to him. I'm not going to do anything to him as long as he's straight with me. But he's not going to tell you anything. He will if he wants his precious metal. Look, you really want to know what's going to happen? You're going to lurk around some telephone box out there. Someone's going to come over, work you over, take you, Medallion, and hurl you into the harbor. The great Roberto sees all. Ah, do you remember what happened when you met Laura? They almost killed you. Yeah, well, it's different now. This is a case of battle of wills. He knows it, I know it. And I'm not afraid of it. Then you're a fool. Well, there's no doubt about that now. Look, I'm telling you, you hand over that medallion, you're a dead man. Robert, this medallion means nothing. It's just a hunk of metal. The only thing that it means is that I might be able to get some information. It's a fair trade now. It's getting dark out there. I gotta go. Then I'm coming with you. No way. No, no. Oh, no. yes. Listen, I'll stay at a side. He won't even know I'm there. He'll know, Robert. Look, you've got to have backup. I don't think so. I think I'm going to be just fine. I think it's going to be straight with me. Oh. And how did we arrive at this precious theory? I don't know. A sound in his voice. But I think he's going to be straight. The old intuition comes again, huh? Exactly. I haven't been wrong so far, have I? You know, we may have a slow night tonight. The fog's rolling in. What? No, don't! Good evening, Mr. Spence. Drop it. Just get down to business. Very well. You brought the medallion? Not so fast. I thought we had a deal. We do. You go first. How do I know you won't run off with the medallion after I've told you? Trust me. Trust you. Those are my uh, terms. That's it. If the tables were reversed, would you trust me? Of course not. That's why I hold the medallion, you see. And I suppose it's futile to ask for a compromise. You can try. That crate there. Place it there at an equal distance from both of us, and I'll tell you what you want to know. I want the truth. I don't want anything else. Place the medallion on the crate. Where is my wife? What happened to my wife? Well, come on, let's go. You got the medallion. Let's hear a story. Wait. Don't stall. You're stalling, man. I don't want you to stall with me. I'm trying to tell you as gently as I can. Don't, don't you be gentle with me. You just tell me what you know. I read the story in the newspaper about the ship accident. Well, I hope you got something to add to it. I do. You see, Mel Wilson asked me as a friend to check on his girlfriend, Laura. Templeton? Yes, Templeton. She was in Port Charles alone that night. And apparently I missed her at her apartment. As I was leaving, I saw her. I tried to follow. But as you know, the fog was very thick. In other words, you lost her. Yes, but I found your wife. She was standing right where you're standing now. I tried to speak to her, but she ran off. I'm waiting. At this point, taking into consideration all the facts as we know them, the fog, the night, your wife's fears, She ran down the pier. Have to hide, she thought. Have to hide. And then she saw the boat, loosely moored at the water's edge, tiny waves lapping, lapping against its side. The boat, the boat, a place to hide. Shelter from the frightening night, a chance to pull the covers over her head and sleep. And then the boat drifted out to sea, 
out past the buoys, past the harbor lights, into the foggy night, into the deceptive calm of the shipping. The, cap the captain? Oh, yes, Luke. The ship hit the boat. It hit the boat and your wife was killed. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. She's dead. Gone forever, you Laura is dead. Gone? Gone? And it was all an accident. Repeat it. An accident. Accident, yes. Accident, yes. Accident. You accept it. You understand everything.